today. Uh, I am joined uh, by Tamaulipas Governor Cabeza de Vaca. We are showing how border governors can lead the way on solving border problems. My office has been working with Governor uh, Cabeza de Vaca for several days about the challenges on our border ranging from clogged bridges to illegal immigration. Today we met to reach agreement on solutions to those challenges. Border bridges have become clogged because Texas is thoroughly inspecting commercial vehicles coming from Mexico. At the same time, Texas has been overrun with a record number of immigrants illegally crossing from Mexico into Texas with the assistance of cartels. Governor Cabazza de Vaca and I reached an agreement that addresses both issues. The governor will provide enhanced border security enforcement measures on the Mexico side of the border both at ports of entry as well as along the Rio Grande River to prevent illegal immigration from Mexico into Texas. In particular, Tamaulipas will provide the personnel, the resources, and tactics to stem the flow of illegal immigrants walking across the border at low water crossings. Mm -hmm. If those crossings resume or increase, it will signal that cartel-supported crossings have increased and that Texas must reinstate the more stringent vehicle inspection standard. Now, however, because Tamaulipas has increased security on the Mexico side of the border and is committed to contain low water crossings of illegal immigrants, the Texas Dep Department of Public Safety can return to random searches of vehicles crossing all of the bridges from Tamaulipas. The effect will be that the uh, bridges between Tamaulipas and Texas will return to normal beginning immediately right now. They will remain that way as long as Tamaulipas executes this historic agreement. Texas has now entered into border security enhancement agreements with the Mexican governors of Tamaulipas, Coahuila, Chihuahua, and Nuevo Leon. Now listen, understand the concern that businesses have about trying to move products across the bridge, but I also know the anger that Texans face and have this caused by Joe Biden not securing the border. Texas will not tolerate the endless stream of illegal immigrants crossing the border and we will increase our border security in light of the President Biden's decision uh, to re eliminate Title 42 expulsions. The ultimate way to end the clogged border is for President Biden to do his job and secure it. Until then, Texas will use its own strategies to secure the border. To let you know about a situation that occurred during the course of the closed bridges, I'm going to have Major Gonzalez with the Texas Department of Public Safety explain more to you about what happened. Definitely, Governor. So, surely, just as after we got started here, uh, on this initiative, on this commercial vehicle enforcement initiative out, out at our port of entries, there are multiple things that we're seeing. But I think that one of the biggest things that we were able to see is once we started slowing down that traffic, we could see, one, that as, as people were staying behind, as people were clogging up that line, we were having full, thorough inspections on those, on those commercial vehicles coming across. In that, we were able to see some violations there were some violations that, that increased because of that, because of that full thorough investigations, inspections, excuse me. But the other thing also that we're able to see is just a few days later, some of our trucker, uh, they're bringing uh, all that, all that uh, freight across. We could see that they, they started their own strike on the Mexican side of the far port of entry. But just about a day and a half, two days later, the cartel went in there and they started uh, they burned multiple vehicles, and they also started shooting around that area. The truckers who were out there striking were scared, uh, and that's when, the open, when, that's when that strike finally ended. And so that truly showed the impact that this has been having not only on the truckers but also on the cartel and the, the desperation to open up that port of entry to continue to do what they've done. Uh, that's one of the examples that we've had. Uh, we had others uh, where they've talked about you know, everything that's going on the Mexican side and, and how that has affected them. And, 
and also they've told us that they're concerned with taking different routes to different port of entries because, again, they will be uh, stopped by the cartel uh, representatives. So, again, it, it has had a big impact on them, and it's something that could easily be seen uh, that, that occurred just a few days ago. Thank you.